Welcome to How To Videos from Bugspray.com. Okay, here we have a fire ant nest that's been built underneath a driveway alongside of a brick building. And uh, after this heavy rain we got <clears throat> a little bit ago, they've started to get really stirred up. You can see here they're very, very active all over the side of this brick. You can even see the alates in there, and, and the alates are going to spread and uh, start other colonies. So Now with a situation like this, uh, there's always a possibility that somebody will come across this and, and stir them up and actually get quite a few stings uh, in a very short period of time. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to do a quick knockdown of this uh, activity with a concentrate and uh, I'm going to use cypromethrin. Typically this will affect them very quickly and they'll be dying within minutes. Uh, and then I'm probably going to follow up with a bait to ensure that any that are not affected because uh, I can't do a real good direct treatment literally saturating the mound like I'd like to because of all the concrete and the brick but I would like to at least knock down the population uh, that's active at the moment and uh, I'll be right back as you can see here the ants are trailing in very large numbers as they uh, are going from it looks like possibly two colonies or one super colony and it's covering a large area under here so I'm gonna go ahead and start spraying and uh, let's take a closer look at these ants and see what happens Okay, you can see the ants coming out of the mound here, uh, right in one of the crack, and there's already hundreds, hundreds of ants laying around. I just pulled that weed back so you can get a closer look at the uh, ants. They're not real happy right now. And that's one way that you can take care of a fire ant mound. We'll have several others in following videos. Thank you for watching this how-to video from Bugspray.com.